In my conversation with Reinhard Genzel, he told me a lot about the lives of galaxies, how they are born, age, merge, and form black holes. So what came first, the galaxy or the black hole? We don't know. Really? Okay. We don't know. We don't know. We are, we're looking for it. What we do know is that this all ha happened in a very distant past, and that's very exciting. In fact, we've learned that the galaxies, the Milky Ways, which we live in, all these stars, as well as these big black holes, you know, it formed sort of at the same time. Chicken okay. and egg, we don't know yeah. quite which was first, but any, sort of at the same time. And rather soon after the Big Bang occurred, soon on the scale of our current age of the universe, which is 13 billion years. So that happened about a billion years after. So a thirteenth, a tenth, mm -hmm. say, of our present age. That's when they formed. And in fact, we now are understanding that these black holes, as spectacular as they might be, they're only a small amount of the material of a, of a Milky Way. Okay. about a thousandth of, of the mass, still they seem to you know, have interacted back then with these galaxies, disturbed them, and in fact shaped their evolution quite a bit. So it's sort of like a symbiosis between you know, two, two things coming together and very important in their interaction. You said that it's only a small percentage of the mass, and um, what's the rest of well, the most, most of the rest of the visible matter are all stars. And there's a little bit of gas yeah. nowadays. That was different in the early universe. There was much more gas around, which then turned into stars. Now then, in addition to all of that, in fact, there is this mysterious dark matter, okay, which, which we don't really know what it is. But mm -hmm. we do know from gravity again, uh, on large scales, that it's the dominant form of matter, in fact, okay. Unfortunately, we don't know what it is. We only know it's distributed over a very large scale. So on the scale of a black hole, there is relatively little dark matter, probably. We don't know that for sure, yeah. but it's likely. Um, so if two galaxies collide or merge and black holes merge, what will happen to the Earth? Does that have any effect on our Earth? Well, if, yeah, if, we, if, we, you know, if you wait a little longer, you become older, and you say, after a billion years of your <laughs> life, <laughs> then in fact, we may have, we may have a problem, because okay. then we will collide with our uh, next neighbor galaxy, Andromeda, and then if that happens, that'll create quite a bit of problems, because you know, all the stars will get disturbed in their, in their motions and right. so forth, and quite a bit of it falls into the center. And then, in fact, the resulting system will be very different from these nice spiral plane, planar galaxies, yeah. and we will you know, become a very you know, disturbed uh, system. And at the very center, there may then be a bigger black hole, which would grow from the wow. perhaps <laughs> black holes which are already there. So how did this black hole get so as big as it is? Well. Uh, you know, precisely, we don't know. I mean, what we do know is that in our Milky Way, there's relatively little which is going on. Mm. Sort of on average at this point, sort of a, a single sun happens to come in, I mean, in terms of mass, goes in every, you know, 10,000 to 100,000 years. But there are other big black holes which, which we can see, uh, you know, grow very quickly. They grow very quickly when two galaxies uh, collide, and this collision, as it is, a, you know, traffic inter intergalactic traffic accident, if you like, you know, happens nowadays very, very rarely. That's because mm -hmm. you know the universe has expanded, and the Milky Ways are very distant from each other, and so forth. But at earlier times, that was pretty, pretty frequent. Mm -hmm. So every you know billion years, which on yeah. cosmic scales is 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 not too long a time scale, two galaxies actually had a pretty good chance uh, to collide with each other. When that happened happens then, uh, material gets really dislodged, including gas in particular, and that can can uh, come into the very center very, very rapidly. And in that way, you can grow uh, black holes, apparently, as, as large as several billion times the mass of the sun. So that's several thousand times more than the Milky Way black hole. Yeah.